Yeah, I wish I could uh, share those moments when you really win big, big races, when you've been working hard for a long, long time, especially with the one that you also have around you that has been working hard for a long time. But it was some of the biggest moments in my career as a mountain biker, for sure. Um, it was a comeback that a lot of people didn't believe in, that it could be possible. Uh, and I think that the time I needed to get up on that level was, was a long way to go. It was a lot of hard work, but it is something that gives you a lot of motivation to continue. Uh, but it's also something that really for at least me and Kenneth that live in this performance uh, bubble every day, um, it gives us the proofs that yes, we are working right, correct, and if we really work hard, we can manage to reach the goals we put up as long as we, we work like we do. So it was a special day for sure. You know, it has been a, a long year last year with uh, that white jersey. And um, for sure, I was proud to, to wear the, the jersey the whole season. I had uh, quite pressure to wear it, all kind of races. Not only the top races, also the small races. But uh, at the end, it was a pretty satisfying year for me. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot, that's for sure. It's a long time without mountain bike races now for me. I made the cyclocross season during the winter, the Swiss cyclocross season. And uh, it was quite successful for myself, and I hope I can keep on with that, keep on going with that and results, and be prepared for the first World Cup, which is for sure really important for me for the Olympic selections in Switzerland. But on the other side, uh, just to be back in in the top ten, in the top five of the world, and to yeah to see that the training I I made was right, and yeah just get the self-confident back for the next races. If it goes like normal season, similar like last year, both for me and Lena Burberg, it will be me and her going to London. So I don't think I'm the one that is stressing a lot around performing in the first month this season. We work uh, and follow the program we put up and we look at it as, yes, we are going to London, but we are not officially elected by the Olympic Federation yet. Obviously, uh, if you check the UCL ranking, I'm the, the guy with a better position against the others. But, uh, you know, races are races and uh, you never know what can happen. But uh, actually, you know, I'm more or less qualified, but not officially. For me, having the motivation I have going into a new season, I see a lot of big goals. But, of course, London is really one of the biggest ones. To be able to fight for a for a medal in London and even be good enough to be able to fight for a gold, yeah, that will be the biggest thing for the season. But it's a long time since I was wearing the white jersey and I think we already got a little bit pressure for the, 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 the staff because we have a white world champion car multivan outside. So I think it's just telling us that you have to work harder. We want that rainbow jersey back. So guys, feel the pressure? Uh, that's going to be, in case I go to the Olympics, or I hope to go to the Olympics, that's for sure. Uh, it's going to be my fourth Olympic Games. So I start in Sydney and uh, Athens and Be uh, Beijing. So it's going to be a, a big highlight for me for this season. And uh, as you say, I have uh, a little bit the, the background uh, with the fourth position in Sydney, second in Athens, uh, tenth in uh, Beijing. So I hope to be back... Uh, for fight for the podium and be one of the favorites uh, for the gold. No, I will not do the Cape Epic. It was too hard last year with Jose. I think uh, I'm still a little bit in the burnout from that race. <laughs> but this morning in the shower when I was shaving my legs for the press conference today, I asked him, hey, Jose, when you will, when you will win the Cape Epic? And then he said, oh, of course, next year, <laughs> after the Olympics. And then I said, yeah, with who? And he said, yeah, with you. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe the Cape Epic uh, can be a goal for next year, but not for this year. And I go straight back to Africa now after the training camp here, or after the press camp here, and uh, we'll train for three weeks there before I will heading to the World Cup there in Peter Maritzburg. I'm a big fan of Cape Epic, but this year, as you say, uh, Olympic Games changes everything, change the calendar, change the mentality of the riders, change, uh, it's uh, moving a little bit uh, too much, the, the mountain biking scene with the Olympics. When actually, actually is a normal race, more or less. 
So, um, but this year I start again, I start early my season, and uh, one of the possibilities was to take part in Andalusia bike race, uh, six days stage with uh, one prologue, and not so long stages like Cape Epic. So, um, in one hand, it's a really good preparation, even if I'm not a marathon rider, or at least one not a specialist marathon rider, and uh, it's going to be a good preparation looking for the first World Cup. Uh, that it's going to be really important two weeks after the Andalusia bike race. That's going to end the uh, 2nd of uh, March. So two weeks after we have the World Cup in Peter Maliswood and uh, I hope it's going to be a good preparation. We have to be really in shape in the first World Cup to show uh, our, my national coach uh, the shape and uh, to start to build uh, the ticket for the Olympics. I just have to show that I still have the still have the shape this year, so I still have to show uh, uh, one good result, like a top 16 in a World Cup. Uh, yeah, it's, it's enough normally for me to get to the Olympics. The bike, the new bike should be faster, or it is faster, and uh, especially it had a has a little bit more comfort, it's a little bit more, it more stiffness, and it's lighter, so it's perfect for me, and I hope it will be perfect uh, for all the customers that will buy that bike. Yeah, for sure. Uh, top eight will be my goal there, and uh, I think it's possible. I saw last year, yeah, in a few races that I'm getting closer and closer to the World Cup podium also, and uh, yeah, then you have to put the goals higher, and I think, yeah, we I will do it this year. Now is the situation uh, I catch for the third place uh, in, in Germany. Uh, we had uh, three spots for the Olympic. And um, on the first uh, four World Cup races, I have to do a top 50 place, and I will hope I can do this. I try to stay a little bit in the shadow, give them the pressure, and uh, <laughs> hit them in the right moments, the moments that are really important. So uh, they, I don't want to see it that they, that, or I want that they don't see it coming. Yeah, the plan is um, to do the <laughs> Olympic and then uh, I do both, uh, also the marathon races and yeah, we will see. Uh, we have uh, some good races, but uh, it's not so busy like uh, in Ralph's case. But uh, if you see the past, in the last nine years, we had a uh, mountain bike, mountain world championships. And from these nine uh, championships are five titles from Switzerland and one is from Ralph. Yeah, my my plan is to start pretty good into the season. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, Cape Epic is a big goal. Uh, we want to to um, at least want to win a stage and be on the on the top on the podium again, uh, uh, on the podium again. Um, but there are different other races like German Championships in early of May and yeah, some more uh, big races in the summertime, like Transalp, and in the end of the season, the World Championship. So you see there are quite a couple of races, and for sure, every every race you can win is, is nice, but uh, some of them are even better to be won. <laughs> I think uh, there are more mountain races in the moment. They can go for a good level. Uh, in the leading group, there are more and more races, in the past, you was uh, maybe three or four, and now you are five, six, seven, or ten. And uh, the races, they are not uh, specially changed, but uh, there are more and more races all over the world. Now we have the World Marathon Classics, and it comes every year some more races, and especially the stage races, they're more important. Yes, that's right. It's our philosophy, and as you can see, I think it works. And it makes no sense to start every two years or each year new with new stuff, with new racers. And if it takes a little bit time uh, till everything is running well and to see the success and to get the success. And, but nevertheless, we had small adjustments even in the staff. And sometimes we have adjustments uh, with the racers. And, but we follow this philosophy since many years, and you, when you look around to other teams, sometimes I have the feeling they copy it a little bit, because we are successful since years, and so why we should change a running system. Uh, in 2012, the Olympic race is one of the main goals. That's, that's clear, everybody wants a medal. 
and at the end the gold should be the best. And for us, we have a lot of other races and we need some World Cup victories, of course, and we, have, uh, we miss the victory at the Cape Epic, we miss the victory at the Transalp, and we have two World Championships, so we have a lot to do, and the, the target is to catch some medals, and then we will see what happens in the season 2012. I hope to, yeah, to start good in the, in the first World Cup, and then uh, go on uh, during the season. Small break in summer, and then uh, focus completely for Olympics and, uh, and the World Championship, of course. So we have you a few more years here. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>